but even Fox News attempted to not so subtly tie the eclipse to their favorite all-time political issue. A Fox News alert, a rare celestial event collides with a policy failure on the ground. The southern border will be directly in the path of totality today when the moon covers the sun for nearly four minutes. The funny thing is back in 2017, the last time there was a solar eclipse in the U.S., no serious person was trying to spin it this way. But in the larger context of the language that the right is pushing, seven months out from Election Day, by the way, fear-mongering about invading migrants on livable cities and Donald Trump warning about a bloodbath if he is not reelected, this is just another example of the fear that they are all too eager to inject into anything and everything under the sun. Welcome to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. Republicans are scrambling to find things to blame President Biden for in order to help Donald Trump. They are so desperate that they are now resorting to fear-mongering Americans with things like earthquakes and solar eclipses. Of course they are. Now, if you thought Republicans would act normal during a solar eclipse, uh, think again. Seriously, while millions of Americans were excitedly waiting to see the solar eclipse, Fox News attempted to link the eclipse to migrants illegally crossing the southern border. The first location of totality is actually the southern border. And that's where we find Bill Malusian live in Eagle Pass, Texas, a place that you are well familiar with, Bill. Good morning. Yeah, Bill, good morning to you. We got double duty down here in Eagle Pass today. Eagle Pass actually expected to be the very first spot in all the United States where the totality of this eclipse is supposed to be seen, but that is only if the weather cooperates. And right now it's not looking too good. We got forecasted overcast skies all day long here in Eagle Pass. And if you notice in the background, there's razor wire and fencing. Well, you can thank Governor Greg Abbott for that one. According to Republicans, it's all because these darn migrants are coming over and stealing our jobs, committing voter fraud, and causing violence. Except that would be Republicans in all three of those categories. So instead of Eagle Pass, Texas looking nice and hosting locals and tourists for the eclipse, they had to deal with the Republican Party's fascistic manufactured outrage. Oh, and the total economic impact from the solar eclipse, including secondary downstream effects, is estimated to be as much as a $6 billion boost to the U.S. economy. That's like Beyonce and Taylor Swift level impact. So please join me in thanking Greg Abbott for once again finding a way to ruin something that would benefit his state. Now, before we get back to their fear mongering, they did try to tell us a joke. It, you know what I like about it too, Jonathan? I feel that it's full circle on the word Corona. Right. Because <laughs> we were all in the middle of the coronavirus right. for, you know, over three years. And it had such an obvious negative connotation. And now everyone's talking about the corona of the sun. Right. And it's something extraordinary and something uplifting. And also, I love that people have no... They're, they're, I can't really find any political agenda in this story. Can exactly. You? But I did feel bad for the corona beer during the coronavirus. Uh, now we don't call it that anymore, and now we're back with it, but this is more of a positive element. Actually, you know what? Let's pretend we never heard that. Uh, we are told that officials are bracing for higher traffic than usual, and that means a real opportunity for smugglers and cartels and migrants to come right in. So just to be clear, Republicans think that the perfect opportunity for migrants to make a dash for the border was during the four-minute window when the moon was directly in front of the sun. Right. I guess we're just gonna completely ignore the roughly 10 hours of total darkness at night? Now, if I were to use Republican logic right now, that's more than 150 opportunities to cross the border. And that's just one night. For some reason, this whole four minutes of darkness thing is a very difficult thing for Republicans to grasp. Like Daniel Turner, who doesn't seem to know how solar energy works or how we've been able to survive this long when the sun goes down. If only there was some way to store energy when it's dark out. Now, let's just assume that Turner was trying to tell a joke. Well, that might be the most cringeworthy attempt at humor I've ever witnessed, and we just saw Brian kill me try to tell a joke about Corona. And speaking of morons, Marjorie Taylor Greene made sure to use the earthquake and solar eclipse as a way to fear monger. But I just want to point out that the epicenter of that earthquake was near Donald Trump's golf course. Even in this day and age, some folks try really hard to make it something more. Like on Friday, the day of the earthquake that rumbled parts of the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene posted this. Quote, God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent. Earthquakes and eclipses and many more things to come. I pray that our country listens. I mean, 
I'm just going to pause on that for statement for a moment because it's just, it's really something and you need to read it. Look, the only person who should be repenting is Marjorie Taylor Greene, the woman who broke the seventh commandment, thou shall not commit adultery. You know, those affairs that she had with the gym manager, polyamorous tantric sex guru, and others. Also, Marjorie Taylor Greene believes in Jewish space lasers, so are we really all that surprised by her claiming that earthquakes and eclipses are because we didn't repent? Now, her post was, of course, quickly tagged with a community note that pointed out that the U.S. averages about four earthquakes a day. That's what happens. And that solar eclipses are able to be predicted well in advance. But have no fear. Congresswoman Green doubled down on her post, writing, quote, many have mocked and scoffed at this. Correct. She noted, yes, eclipses are predictable and earthquakes happen. However, God created all of these things and uses them to be signs for those of us who believe. I mean... Another explanation is sometimes these things are just coincidences. And then you've got other idiots like Rudy, I'm going bankrupt Giuliani, acting like a seismologist. We left the communist state of New York. Uh, and then we were in the state of Connecticut. And we just escaped all the earthquakes. And uh, then we got to Massachusetts, which probably had some earthquakes. And we got to New Hampshire, there were no earthquakes which is telling me that somebody's sending us a message. The communist states are getting earthquakes. And I think that's what the, I think, look at California. You can't have more, you can't have more earthquakes than California. You want to figure out why? Much like Daniel Turner, Rudy Giuliani might also try to claim that it's a joke, but something tells me that he truly believes that weather patterns and geological occurrences are politically aligned. Just wait till Republicans find out hurricanes are gender fluid. No! Look, I know Republicans are all about defunding education and rejecting science, but we gotta do better, folks. I wouldn't be surprised if these idiots are one of the many people who looked directly at the sun during the eclipse and Googled eyes hurt afterward. These people might wanna lie down in bed before they hurt themselves even more. And speaking of beds, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Miracle Made. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning antibacterial bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long, so you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice if not nicer than sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe to try Miracle Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo Gabe at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe and use the code Gabe to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Gabe to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Maid, for sponsoring this episode. But I gotta say, one of the more strange occurrences during this year's total solar eclipse was a video that Donald Trump shared on Truth Social.
Are they saying that Trump is so fat that he could block out the sun? Who's to say, but that is certainly the message that I took from this pathetic ad made by a Trump sycophant. But you know who else is a proud member of the Trump sycophants? Yup, Jim Jordan, the guy who doesn't like to report sex crimes and also runs the House Judiciary GOP account. And MAGA says they're not a cult? Sure, Jan. Also, can we just talk about this part of the video for a second? It looks like Trump has a Lego hairpiece. Actually, on second thought, this doesn't look like Trump. This looks like Alabama Representative Mike Rogers. In case you forgot, he's the guy who tried to fight Matt Gates during the 15 rounds of voting for House Speaker. Anyway, the idea of Trump blocking out the sun is actually kind of funny because there is some truth to it. Only Trump and his fragile ego could block out the sun, depriving our planet of one of our most precious resources and eventually leading to our destruction. But this is not the first time that Trump has come face to face, or rather, eye to eye with a total solar eclipse. Back in 2017, this moron looked directly at the sun after being explicitly told not to. <laughs> Honestly, I am so glad that Trump pointed to the sun because I'm not sure if anyone would have figured out where it was if he hadn't. But what I love about this moment is that Trump looks up without the glasses, then puts the glasses on to look at the eclipse, and then takes the glasses off before looking up again. Which is why President Biden had to release this video before this year's solar eclipse. Folks, enjoy the eclipse, but play it safe. Don't be silly. That's right, don't be silly. And as Hillary Clinton said back in 2020, you should definitely not take medical advice from a guy who stared directly at a solar eclipse. The same goes for Republican lawmakers who are desperately trying to strip away women's rights with a near total abortion ban from 1864. That was when the Civil War was. And that's why in November's election, it is so important that we vote them out. But also for the next solar eclipse, please remember this. You should not look up at the eclipse. Uh, don't do that, that, no. that will, damage your eyes. That Apparently not, the, the president of the is, United States did it uh, some years ago. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to follow me at I am Gabe Sanchez. And if you like today's episode and want to help grow this show, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez and this has been, what was that? <laughs> <laughs>